We have seen the largest increase uh, in migrants crossing our borders, unfortunately, in the past few years. There's many push and pull factors that would contribute to that uh, circumstance, including deterioration of conditions in other countries, as you indicated in your opening statement. But I'm also concerned about what appears to be an attitude toward immigration pull factors, the policy decisions that suggest to migrants that making the dangerous, life-threatening journey to and across our southern border will be rewarded, rewarded by being released in the United States, being rewarded by uh, a no, uh, no hearing, no ultimate outcome determination. Um, and you recently wrote in an opinion, and it was on the board here that Senator Graham indicated he agreed with, your statement, only Congress can bring immigration and border security systems into the 21st century. Are there not things that can be done in this supplemental that can address that, at least in part, that we can reach an agreement on with the administration and Republicans and Democrats in the Senate? Uh, and also, would you, how would you change uh, those seeking, uh, migrants seeking asylum to present themselves at legal points of entry, limitations on parole, stricter punishment of visa overstays, to limit those pull factors and to reduce illegal immigration. Senator, uh, th thank you very much for the opportunity. The, the supplemental funding re request that we have submitted would assist us tremendously in our border enforcement efforts with respect to the hiring and deployment of personnel, uh, the procurement and implementation of technology. Uh, what we need is a, an encompassing solution to an encompassing problem when we speak of policy changes. For example, the backlog in immigration court proceedings has been building year over year over year for at least 10 years. That is why the time in between encounter and final adjudication of an immigration enforcement case is years and years long when we speak of a pull factor. And if, in fact, we had a path to legalization for the millions of people who've been contributing so much to this country, we would so acutely alleviate the immigration court backlog, shrink the time in between encounter and final adjudication. So it really requires a comprehensive approach to what is such a comprehensive problem. Well, Mr. Secretary, while I might uh, agree that comprehensive uh, reform or changes uh, are advantageous, it has been my experience in my entire time in Congress that we keep waiting for comprehensive reform, and as a result, we do next to nothing. And I hope that you, the administration, will use this opportunity to seriously work with those of us who are willing to make changes uh, to defeat this circumstance in our national security, this challenge, uh, at least in the things that we can agree upon today, continue to work on the things that we can't agree upon. Otherwise, my entire time in Congress will be waiting for comprehensive reform. Thank you.